Alright, so, I haven't even made it to free air testing yet, because I got held up with some, some words. Alright, so, I know Rockville's pretty, uh, they're pretty known for, uh, not doing what words say. But anyways, alright. So... We'll go with two chrome plated binding post terminals except any gauge wire. All right, so whoever is sitting over at Rockville and approving this stuff probably needs to take an English lesson and proofread other people's work before they approve shit because any gauge wire that's that's a big statement right there and it says two but this is a dual two ohm subwoofer so that should be four chrome plated binding post terminals except and it should start off with something that doesn't start with any. Anyways, so I went and grabbed my handy dandy big thick wire. This is only two gauge. And it's it's neck down considerably to an adapter. And uh, the adapter it's just about as big as around as a whole freaking push terminal. That won't fucking fit. Just just won't. Um, so anyways, that's two gauge should be very widely accepted as any gauge. And then I went and found some hmm this is four gauge. Okay, this is this is Rockville. Rockville four gauge wire. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. And uh yeah, that won't fit. That's, uh... Maybe if there was an adapter. Maybe. I don't know. So then I went and found some other wire. Oh. And so I grabbed this stuff. And this is... Uh, I think this is 8 gauge? Yeah. A little 8 gauge. And that definitely won't fit. Now, if you had a, a like like for the this other stuff, if you had an adapter, yeah, maybe. But uh, any gauge wire, any gauge wire turns out to be any gauge as long as it's about twelve gauge or smaller. So, what they should have done was wrote accepts twelve gauge or smaller speaker wiring just just basic simple stuff that infuriates people who read but yeah and then a lot of it's just extra words like how I would write essays and stuff I would just throw a bunch of crazy words in there and make up for lost words like the, uh, let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Custom rubber boot magnet cover protects the magnet. Really? You could just put rubber boot magnet or rubber magnet boot. You don't got to put protects the magnet because obviously. Uh, yeah, saying that the cast aluminum blast basket with black sanded finish makes the sub very efficient and lightweight. Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with efficiency and not a whole lot to do with weight. So that's bunch of jibber-jabber that 
doesn't even need to be on there. But yeah. Other than that, sub looks pretty decent. And I'll get around to this free air test here in a second. But, uh, any gauge wire, come on. Let's uh let's use our let's use our words properly. Yeah, this is 12 gauge GL Audio OFC. Real nice stuff. I like it a lot. But yeah. See y'all later.